This video is sponsored by Fan Home, offering a wide variety of licensed collectibles, and they have a new product. This is a multiple volume set where you can begin ordering it for only a dollar. Two encyclopedias come to you. This is a subscription service. The first order comes with two books, and additionally, each month after that, four books will be shipped to you. Here are the first two encyclopedias to be sent to you, Darth Vader and the Millennium Falcon, and they are full of information and interesting facts. I know that Star Wars fans out there love the details, and look how much great stuff is in these full color blueprints. And if you act now, the first 100 subscribers receive this incredible, awesome Star Wars shirt. If you're interested, you can follow the link below where you can order the first two encyclopedias, which will be sent to you now. I love myself some Star Wars video games, but we didn't get them all. There are several canceled video games that have never came out. And lucky for us, there are websites such as Hidden Palace, and they take prototypes and dump them so that everyone can enjoy these lost treasures. Well, there was a Sega Genesis Star Wars game that never came out, and I'm happy to share with you Super Star Wars for the Sega Genesis. I never played that version. And even though this has been out for a bit, it's new to me. I have a lot of experience playing the Super Nintendo version, which I grew up with and really appreciated. So in today's video, I'm taking a look at Super Star Wars for the Sega Genesis for the first time. Let's take a look. I want to quickly show you the Super Nintendo version, which I grew up and played quite a bit. You know, and this wasn't a perfect game, but there was a lot of interesting enemies and levels in this game. Now, here's the Sega Genesis version, and as you can see, the color palette isn't as good as the Super Nintendo. You know, the Sega Genesis uh, was limited with uh, some of its hardware options. Uh, compared to the Super Nintendo, but it you know it pulled this off actually. I was actually impressed with what they did with this prototype. It's not fully implemented. I don't know, uh, you know, how much health bar the health bar is is not present. Um, some of the bosses aren't there. Uh, I don't know what they were gonna do on the land speeder mode seven levels on the Super Nintendo. And there's no title screen. You just have simply, you can level select. There's only a few uh, tracks of music made for this. This is Han Solo. This is one of two characters that you can play. And, you know, I never did fully get into uh, some of the gameplay that this game offered on the Super Nintendo. And I was, you know, I was hopeful that, you know, maybe the Sega Genesis version was going to feel a little bit different, but it, it kind of feels the same as, you know, they kind of went with that uh, really bizarre, like diagonal jumping, and the gameplay just doesn't fully feel right. As, you know, going back and playing the Super Nintendo one, it just hasn't aged well. But growing up as a kid, I didn't complain. Played this one, Super Empire Strikes Back, and Super Return of the Jedi. And so... Yeah, here it, the internal levels in the sand crawler are here, and so there's a lot of detail. Uh, it looks close to what the Super Nintendo game ha offered. Nice little homage in the score up above the uh, THX 1138. That was George Lucas' first movie he made, I do believe, for college. And uh, if you haven't checked it out, it's it's well worth going back and 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 seeing it. But yeah, um, I like what they've done here. Really would have been nice to see this uh, finished, to see what they could pull off for the Sega Genesis, especially for uh, the Mode 7 levels. Maybe they just had no idea. Here's a boss fight, not fully implemented. Huge bosses, though. Fill the screen. And, you know, overall, not bad. You know, it definitely is a, is a step down from... The Super Nintendo versions, but I think many Sega Genesis owners would have loved to see this. Uh, this is kind of an interesting level. Looks like it's not fully, um, either wasn't dumped right, or I don't know about the backgrounds there, if that was just, uh, you know, wasn't fully implemented, uh, the, the background, but it, I don't know if it's a bad dump or something else, 
but yeah that was interesting to see that haven't seen that in in many other prototypes but um you know uh definitely in the comments below have you played this one definitely want your uh input and uh you can check this out below i'll put a link where you can download and play this yourself pretty sweet that uh there are websites out there that really try to work on the preservation of these unreleased prototypes i know the video game history foundation is another one that they're really doing a good job at trying to save these prototypes from the garbage you know there's so many unreleased games that are just not preserved they're not dumped and so it's really uh cool to see this as you know i'm a huge star wars fan and you know playing this for the first time it's it's pretty interesting to see that this even was going to be a thing and it has you know essentially it looks like many of the levels from the super nintendo i don't know if it has any major differences uh it looks like it's trying to be essentially uh, a, a game close to the super nintendo version but yeah it's uh you know kind of neat to go back and and play something you didn't know existed that's what's kind of awesome you know whenever a prototype's found especially one that's shared to the public i know that many people appreciate it especially star wars star wars being such uh, a huge franchise appreciated and loved by all here's another unfinished boss fight which i do believe that's the creature from the game that they're playing on the millennium falcon i think it's pronounced the but anyways that's where i recognize that character from here is another uh boss fight and you can't die in this game if you get hit too many times it seems like luke has way more hit points than han but uh yeah definitely well worth checking out and i'll put a link below where you can play it yourself so what did you think even though we didn't get a finished final version of this game it's still sweet to play it in prototype form thankfully and want to thank hidden palace for offering this to everybody to play and is this something you've checked out is this something new that you didn't know about these are the types of games and content I like to cover because, you know, there's people out there that didn't know it existed. I know for me personally, I didn't know about this until a while back and then saw some video of it and was really excited to check it out for myself. So if you like this content, thank you so much for coming to my channel. I offer lots of different videos from Atari to Xbox and upload three videos every week. And if you like what you see, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as, you know, I really enjoy sharing my love and knowledge of video games with you and will continue to do so. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. Let's keep it positive. This is the Immortal John Hancock and you have a good day.